These are three CFD studies that will show the effects of hollow cone nozzles in a process stream with variations on droplet size and injection points. This hollow cone nozzle is spraying co-currently with large droplets. The interesting note here is that the injected liquid stream has very little effect on the process stream due to the momentum of the large droplets that pass through the stream and contact the pipe wall. When we show a burst of fluid from the injector, it clearly demonstrates that the droplets have such a high momentum that the process stream has very little effects on the droplet. These droplets then become ineffective for any additional mixing or cooling and will more than likely cascade and puddle in the pipe. Some of the smaller droplets can be seen to be entrained in the process stream. These smaller dro droplets are the major contributors for the little gas cooling that is achieved with this nozzle. The next nozzle is a hollow cone nozzle spraying co-current in the process stream with smaller droplets. In comparison, the first nozzle we saw spraying had a volume mean drop size of about 1100 microns, where this nozzle has a volume mean drop size of about 95 microns. The spray is much denser as a result of the smaller droplet becoming entrained with the process stream. We also see that hardly any droplets are coming in contact with the pipe wall. As the droplets move down the pipe, we see the colors change which indicate that the droplets are becoming smaller in size as they transverse down the pipe. Some of the pipe specifics, this is a 36 inch diameter pipe and the length of the process stream that we are analyzing is 15 feet. That equates to five pipe diameters in length. Our third and final nozzle analysis inside the pipe is the same hollow cone nozzle we just saw but is now spraying counter current with a process stream. Here we can see that the nozzle spray does not go far against the process stream before it becomes entrained. In this view we can see distinct reduction in the color of the process stream trajectories indicating that the fluid is having a noticeable change in temperature of the process stream. We can see with a burst of fluid particle tracking that we do see impact on the injector lands and downstream turbulence as a result of the sprains being injected concurrently but it does not seem to have a negative impact on the overall process. There is a small amount of particles hitting the pipe wall, but for the most part, all of the injected fluid becomes entrained with the process stream. From these computational fluid dynamic studies, you can visualize that the droplets and the direction that you spray both have a significant impact on the final performance.